Hi, this is Chris from Data Robot, and I'm excited to announce the release of our continuous AI functionality in the 7.2 MLOps release. Users of MLOps can already take advantage of our Challenger framework. This allows them to compare new versions of models, whether they're retrained models or entirely new models built on new modeling strategies, and understand how they would have performed in production. They can then use this analysis to make an educated decision about if this model is ready to promote. This is certainly helpful, but what's upstream of this model comparison? How can we help users find the best models to even consider as challengers for potential replacement in production? Enter Continuous AI, a new MLOps capability that allows users to generate and identify ideal candidate models, whether these models are narrowly targeted for retraining purposes or a more exploratory generation of models across the full suite of blueprints available in DataRobot. In this new feature, we call the definition of these model generation strategies retraining policies. With a few simple clicks, users can configure one or more policies to programmatically generate candidate models. Often, it is ideal to actually use several policies. Users can more confidently retrain at a higher frequency if the policy is more targeted, perhaps the same blueprint and the same feature list. But it is often beneficial to take a step back and also run a policy which looks more globally across all the available blueprints and search for modeling strategies which may produce higher quality models than the current champion. Retraining policies are defined across several steps. First, just basic metadata to name and describe the policy. Next is the trigger. This defines when a retraining policy will run. In some situations where underlying data frequently changes, this could be set on a regular cadence, a schedule. Triggers are also available when the MLOps platform detects model degradation, uh, in the case of drifter accuracy performance. After defining the trigger, users define the model selection strategy. This is a set of options which scopes the model generation process. Should this policy take a more targeted approach and retrain the current blueprint? Should it be a more global search of all the model strategies in DataRobot? Are there additional important constraints, like the need to support export as a jar file for remote deployment? These are all set here. Once the selection process is defined, what action should be taken with the top model? Generally, this will be added to our framework as a challenger to begin to assess the model's performance and make a decision on model promotion. A more automated approach would be to initiate replacement immediately, knowing that this option also includes integration with our governed approval process. Lastly, a more passive approach would be just to save the model to our registry for future use. The last callout to retraining policies is a second layer of configuration for more advanced users. Users can choose to reuse settings from the original model and modeling project, like the feature list or partitioning strategy, or in some cases override these settings for the new models. As these retraining policies run, the MLOps deployment will track the execution and results of these policies over time. Each result is, provides deep links into both the model and project uh, for additional analysis. Thanks for listening.